Okay guys, I am back and this is like the first, I'll have to figure out which number I'm on for the TCTC challenge. Um, one thing I did want to show you and let me, um, give me two seconds to pull my iPad over here. Um, I wanted to show you how you can, okay, um, This is my channel, which it will look the same um, person to person. So if you go in <clears throat> to, um, you'll like, if you go into my channel, it'll look, it'll look like this. Okay. So at the top you have like, once you're on this screen, it'll kind of pull up some of the more recent videos that I've done, or you can go to the list of videos and kind of scroll through there and kind of see what I've posted lately. Or if you go over to playlists, um, I do I do have my liked videos public. Um, that way, if there's something in there, I can kind of go back and look at it. <clears throat> or, <clears throat> um, and I need to change the title of this one, the Scrappy, Scrappy Do Sue. It needs to say this TCTC on it and I'm not, I thought I put that in there. Sorry, Sue. Um, but all the people doing the TCTC challenge, I have a playlist of them. I do, I'm about two weeks behind on adding any new videos. Um, and I think, yeah, like I know Tani, uh, T uh, Tanya, sorry, um, has some, and I know, um, I'm thinking that Amy's got two or three more I need to add. And I think Gail has a couple more that I have that I have to add. So if you just go through here, um, like if we pull up Sue's here, she's got all the ones that she's labeled this, it's already here. So you can go um, look at hers. And most of the people are doing like something a little bit different than what I've done. So these are all, okay, so there's right now, um, I think there's 19, isn't that what that said? <clears throat> 19 different things you could, you could add to your books. And I'll have to go and see, um, if Inky Owl has put in any more. Um, but there's a whole nother eight pockets, um, Emily has two on there that are completely different than mine. Um, Tanya has 10 and I think she's probably got a couple more already that, um, and some of hers are different um, than what I've done. Amy's are completely different from anything that I've done. And she has a pretty interesting way that she's doing it. Instead of doing a big book like mine, she's doing it with, um, plastic sleeves. So that's another idea. And then Gail, I am pretty sure she has two more videos I need to add to it. Um, we'll have to, like I said, I'm going to go back through and, um, add more videos to their playlists. Um, but Gail's got 19. So really right there is almost a hundred different ideas, right? With mine included pretty close. Um, and then, yeah, like, um, Shari has a couple and I'll have to go back and check her channel just to make sure that, um, um, she hasn't added any more either. And then, um, <clears throat> yeah, so I, when I do a challenge and other people are participating, I try to always, um, put their videos into a playlist um, so yeah, and this was the three and 15, don't freak out before Christmas challenge. And so this is all the, you know, there's really for the ones that didn't, didn't do what I was doing, or if they did it, they did it in different schemes. So you could kind of see the difference. Um, yeah, there's, there's all kinds there. This is mine. And there was 60 videos in that one. So I don't think it was 60 different pockets. I think it was probably close to 50. And then there was 10 with like embellishing and putting the journals together. Um, so yeah, um, I'm going to start this challenge at the end of July, like I did last year. So we'll do a 2021 don't freak out before Christmas challenge. So I just wanted to give you that like little, um, if you want 
<clears throat> if you want more ideas, definitely check out my playlist. And I'm going to try in the morning to update that because like I said, I'm pretty sure I need to add two or three to Amy's, probably two or three to Tanya's and so on and so forth. So I usually go to their channels and if they have any new ones, then I'll save it to the playlist. So that, like I said, that gives you almost a hundred different, different things to add to your journals right there. Um, on top of which you might already be seeing, um, like, you know, if somebody has a new pocket, one of your favorite creators, then um, definitely go ahead and add that. And then I have somebody sent, and I don't even remember her name now, but she sent me an email clear back in February and I've been meaning to do her um, thing. And she sent me like the whole like schematic thing and I need to get that done. Um, so, but anyways, this one has been burning a hole in my brain since I saw it. Um, and I don't know how many of you guys um, watch scrapping, scrapbooking with me, M-E, and her name is E, I think. I think it's probably short for something, but E nonetheless. Okay, so how she did this, it's super cute. Um, so you wanna start out and you want, let me measure this for you guys. I need to find my ruler. And those of you that have been with me for a while know that I'm using old scrapbooking paper that I would never use. Well, I wouldn't say never, but I more than likely will never use um, for my book. So she makes a square. So this one happens to be five inches wide. So um, she makes it square. And it's super cute and super simple. Okay. And then she cuts that off to make it square. Oh, I guess it would help if I looked over the top of it instead of to the side, huh? these pages are getting bent a little bit. Okay, so now we're square. Okay, now she opened it up and didn't crease it, but then just found like the middle. Um, I don't even do that. I, I just take the corners here and fold that in like that and bring it down and just pinch. Don't, don't actually make a crease, okay? And then she opened it up and this works really well for like double-sided. And you wanna make sure this is just like plain paper paper, not not cardboard, okay? Oh, shoot. See, here we go. Okay, so the edge that's folded all the way there, you're gonna fold it up to the middle. Let me kinda ink that up so you guys can kinda see um, the middle right there, okay? And she just brings it in here creases it down, brings this side in, creases it down, okay? And then she brings it back in this direction. And depending on how you glue it down is like, you can either clip it into your journal. So really you would have, let me find something here to kind of show you. So you have these pockets here, and um, if you glue it in, you lose this side. Or if you paper clip it into your journal, then you get, oh man, I don't, it's been weeks since I opened this up. I don't even know what we've done. Can't even remember. Okay, so you can either glue it in like so, and then have it you know, come down and you could probably journal on that. So you kind of like glue it up in the corner or you can glue it down here in this corner and have your little tags in these little pockets here. Or like I said up here, if you were just to paper clip it in, then you could take the whole thing out, right on your tags, open this up, right? Okay, so for now, I'm just gonna paper clip this one in for that. Um, let me grab my paper clips. Now I'm going to do a variation and then, um, I usually make and decorate one. I don't know if we'll get all the decorating done with this one, but anyways, so here's a variation. Um, so let's, cause we'll cut off that. Okay. So I'm going to come up here like, so 
oh, let's measure this so you know what I'm starting with. It should be five by nine. Yeah, five by nine. That's what I'm starting out with here, okay? And this one will go in my idea book. Okay, so then I'm gonna make it square, okay? Okay, then I'm gonna take this up like this and line it up and I'm gonna go ahead and score all the way across, okay? <clears throat> oh, why is that like that? All right, well, maybe I'll have to go this direction to make sure I get it. Cause I want it, I want it like we would cut it off, but I'm not gonna cut it off. <clears throat> Okay, so then we have that. So then I'm gonna open this up and I'm gonna fold it at like, line up the creases here. And then I'm not gonna take it and crease it this way, but I am gonna take this and line it up and crease it the other direction, okay? Okay, so then I have kind of a square here and cut, or in the middle, whatever I was just saying. So then I'm gonna cut down to the score mark there, like that, and then I'm gonna cut this side off. Okay, <clears throat> and that we'll just save for something. Okay, so then I'm gonna fold it back up and I'm gonna mark my middle piece like I kind of should have done in the beginning or whichever way it will it'll mark there so we know what's the middle, okay? Okay, then all opened back up. This is what it looks like. I'm gonna take this side in, okay? Okay, and I'm gonna take this side in Okay, then I'm gonna put that up and score that down. So now I got this crazy little flap, right? But then we're going to bring, and I, you know what, I think I'm just gonna fold a new piece of paper for the book to get it in there. And I think last time I said, oh wait, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna get some more papers and put in there, but you know what? I didn't. Okay. So we'll just do that. Cause I think I need to start the second, the second signature in there. Cause it's just, that one's getting really full. Okay. So then my thought is we're going to put it over the page like this. Okay. So, and then I'm going to Put a little, well, I'm going to want this shorter, I think. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and just eyeball cut this. And I'm sure it won't be even, but. Um, I don't know where my other hole puncher is, so we're just going to put in a little notch. I'm just going to throw a little bit of ink on there so we know what we're doing. Okay, so then I'm going to line it up here. And I'm going to put a line, of, uh, like a bead of glue here. And a little bead of glue here. Okay, like so. And then I would, you know, obviously going in a journal, I would probably ink all the way around it. And then we would put something on there to decorate that pocket. So then we would have a pocket on this side, right? Cute little embellishment here. And then on this side, 
tag, tag, flip over, tag, tag, and then it can like open up for full journaling there. Cool, huh? I think that's pretty neat. All right, so I'm gonna throw that in the book there. And let's make some um, for the pink journal that we're doing for my Shabby Dabby Doodah. Again, this one is, I believe this piece of paper is five and a half. Yeah, five and a half by nine. Um, so again, I think I'm gonna go this direction this time with this one. better to go this direction with this. So I think in the long run, you're not going to want it nine inches. I think if you were to go just a little bit shorter, I think you'd be much better off. Grace's allergies are kicking her little keister these days. Oh. All day today, she is just sneeze, 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 sneeze. Bless you. Okay, so then we're going to go ahead and cut that line. Okay, and I didn't do that one yet. Okay. Okay, now though, what I'm thinking. Nope. Okay, so I'm gonna do them opposites. I'm gonna, since I'm doing two, cause I think I'm gonna make like a, these like the center fold pieces. Like it's gonna be the middle of the signature. So I'm gonna need to do them just a little bit different. Oh shoot. Yeah, I was right. I was thinking that I, that I was creasing it wrong. Okay, before we move on, I'm just gonna throw a little bit of ink in there. And before I get too far, we're gonna take make sure my thinking's right and I'll, I'll I know I'm kind of thinking out loud at the moment but I'll, you'll you'll know soon enough kind of what I'm what I'm thinking okay so I gotta get a piece of paper out here so that I'm doing this right I'll just add this one to the okay. So I'm thinking this one will go in this direction. And since we're not there with the journal yet, it's kind of one of those, sorry, I gotta pick it up and look at it. Okay, so if it's glued over here, that's kind of too long of a pocket. So yep, again, I'm gonna cut off just a little bit. So it doesn't need to be nine inches. I would say if you made your piece Well, let's unfold it and just see, right? Um, seven and three quarters. Okay. 
then it would it would uh, go just perfectly, I bet. And so, yeah, unfortunately, guys, I'm not going to I'm not going to do any decorating on this one yet because I haven't decided which extra kits I'm going to use. Chances are I will probably use um, some of her um, ladies and the shoe digi that she has right now. But we'll at least get we'll at least get that. So I'm going to use that as a guide when I'm folding this other one so I can try to make. the other one and I think I'm gonna go ahead and cut this one down really quick so that we don't have to mess with that so we said seven and three quarters right that way we can really make sure it's crisp and clean okay so let's see start folding it this way and how we fold it isn't necessarily the problem, it's how we cut it. Right? I don't think that matters. Sorry, I'm puzzling it out, guys. Those of you that are new know that I do that quite often, and I think it just helps everybody to puzzle out. I know it helps me because if you guys have a, an additional idea, then maybe some of the puzzling I've already done out will help you in the long run, if that makes sense, to avoid my pitfalls. Okay, so and if I need to fold it the other way, we can totally do that. Okay, so when it's open, I cut out this bottom part, so I want to cut out the top part. Hopefully. Hopefully I'm doing it kind of right. Okay, so we do want to go the opposite direction with the fold. See, because I can't pull that corner in. That's all right. No worries. It will still look right as rain once we're done. Okay. Okay, so now we can pull the corners in like so. get to tell you guys a couple weeks ago I don't know what just made me think of this but um I may have said a couple months ago probably back in October so more than just a couple months ago um that I was going to be a great aunt and I finally got to meet the little pumpkin um on the 8th of May boy is she a cutie She is a doll. Um, she looks just like her daddy. <clears throat> so it's my nephew that had um, him. Uh, well, they're not together anymore, but um, they had a baby. Like I said, boy, is she a cutie. And, um... My sister-in-law watches her um, every day to where the mom can work. And yeah, she's adorable. And she's got one of those million watt smiles. And she was born in October, right? Yeah, I'm pretty sure she was born in October. 
yeah, we, like I said, it was the first time I had gotten to meet her. They live in um, Utah, so um, since the mom works full time, you know, they're not out traveling much, plus the COVID and all that. I'm actually thinking that when we get to that point, we're going to use some of um, Tina's um, uh, little tiny flowers on these pockets here. Oh my goodness, how stinking cute is this? Oh, wow. And then each side, it actually really um, works as a since it's already glued there, then it, when it opens, we fold out, right? You can journal on both sides. If you use a black ink, you should be able to do that. But how cute would this be with just regular, um, like, parchment paper? Or even just regular white paper? So, and then on this side, we'll make a little tag or whatever to slip in there. Do some lace or something on there with some of our other little flowers or maybe like a label. And same with this one. Oh, I love it. I hope you guys love this little pocket too. Holy cow. All right, guys. Um, I will just talk to you in the next video. Bye.